So I think with the Birkin 30, I'm pretty much one and done. I think I only need one. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll super love it. <laughs> oh. Guys, today I was inspired to do this video uh, from Living Life with Meredith, actually, because uh, she often has shared on her previous videos, um, like her Alma collection and her Pochette Batiste collection, which I am like in awe of. I think that's so cool. Today I wanted to discuss with you guys if I could, what bags I would buy in multiple colors. Hey guys, so I just wanted to share with you my outfit of the day. I was gifted this little set from Urban Revivo and I will link them in my description bar below. This lovely little white shirt. It's in a silky material with some little buttons and some pleats. And I'm wearing just a black bra under it to be a bit, a bit risque, but you can definitely wear it with a top or something underneath. And I also have this beautiful little black skirt with some quilting on it. Um, this is a good little uh, wardrobe essential. I like this look, it's very Parisian. And I love the little edgy uh, belts. This is also from Urban Revivo. This is a nice little styling piece. Just edges it up a little bit. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I'm wearing a UK size eight. And yeah, I think it fits. I mean, it's kind of like loose, but it's comfy. So I like it. Wearing it with some uh, black stockings, which I think looks quite cute. And yeah, I was actually gifted a little blazer as well. I'm kind of digging this little white blazer I was gifted as well. I've just done a little belt over it with the mini skirt. Uh, yeah, also from Urban Revivo. It's a little bit oversized. Um, I mean, maybe without the belt. Let's try it. I think this could be a great layering piece. Even you could wear it, like, belted over the skirt. Sassier look. Yeah, so just thought I'd share that with you guys. And let's get on to the video. I think it's a good indicator that you super love a style if you're tempted to buy it in another color similarly to like a perfect pair of jeans like sometimes you want to buy them in multiple colors like i've got these uniqlo pants which i've bought in like five different colors because i love the fit and they make me feel good and sometimes i find that we gravitate towards certain styles with handbags as well and i don't actually have a lot of doubles of things in my collection but yeah i guess the first one which i do have a double of is my kelly 28 and Sally a uh, vintage version from 1991. This is in Rouge Vif in v Rouge Vif in uh, Cuchevel leather. I purchased this from Fin Finkel Puff, and I love the Kelly 28. Well, it's it's a classic, and it's just such a perfect little bag. I also purchased it in. Well, this was the second one I bought, but initially I purchased it in um this color this is a natural color and it is from the year 2000 um it's also i guess it's old but this one is like 20 years old and my other one is 30 years old and yeah i don't know i'm just really drawn to the kelly cellier um it's a very collectible style i know i've seen a lot of people collect multiples of this bag i think the 28 size is really classic as well and yeah this is one of the pieces that i did buy in multiple colors in my collection i would in the future also buy a kelly 32 in another color so if i was going to get a kelly 32 cellier in another color i think i would go for bubblegum pink or rose confetti or I would go for a tri-colored uh, Kelly so uh, Life with Lockie hi Life with Lockie if you're watching uh, has a tri-color vintage uh, Kelly 32 and I think that's a really stunning bag um, so yeah I would like to add more Kellys in my collection in the future just because I really think that they hold up well they're really pretty bags and I do use them on my day off they're a little bit too showy I think for going to work but I do really enjoy these bags so yeah I absolutely love the Kelly and maybe I'll add a retourne as well in the future. A puzzle bag in size small is another bag that I would like to purchase in more colors in the future. I think it would be really nice to have one in black with uh, silver hardware. Something like that I think would go with so many things. It's really versatile. Um, or I think if there was a collection Loewe did that I was really drawn to again I would get the exact same bag in another color. Um, this season Loewe has puzzle bags in really pretty colors and they have matching hardware to the bags and yeah I'm kind of I, I don't know if I like those enough to purchase one. They're really, really nice. Um, but I, I'm just waiting for another small puzzle bag in another color that grabs me. Or I would 
yeah, as I said, go for black because you can't go wrong with black. I think black with silver would be just such a handy color to have. Yeah, so I would mold multiple. I would purchase the puzzle bag multiple times. There are other bags in my collection which I don't think I would purchase multiples of, um, such as my Ruli bag. I think one and done. I think because I got one really cool color i mean it's just a very neutral color i don't know if i would get another color perhaps if I, there was like a really interesting limited edition one and i had the means to buy it at the time i might be tempted like i know they sometimes do the ruley bag with like artwork and stuff on it but i think this bag is definitely one and done a hair bag I would absolutely also buy this in the Pegasus version. So I would get another her bag with some really crazy artwork on it. This one is in a kind of a limited edition canvas as well. Uh, and it has uh, features three colors throughout the canvas. And this is a bag that I reach for a lot. So I would definitely add another one in the future. But it would have to be like a super cool special one for me to add it. I don't think I would get a plain color. Um, just because I think this bag, although it's it's a very versatile bag, but I just like the ones that have a bit of pizzazz to them. If I was going to get another Picotin um, 18, I think I would get a touch one. So uh, Fashionably Amy has a black one with the alligator handles. I absolutely love that one. So yeah, something a bit more... Uh, premium uh fancy looking i think i would get another picatin 18 because this rose extreme one i use quite a lot and yeah i think i would get a double of that um but yeah you're probably wondering what bags i wouldn't get another another one of so i think with the birkin 30 i'm pretty much one and done i think i only need one just because i find that the birkin at this point in my life i don't reach for it as much as the kelly um i have no idea why maybe because it's a little bit more showy um i would probably i don't know guys like never say never but i feel like one is enough like for a birkin unless i get got a 25 i mean that would be so cute uh yeah i would definitely like a birkin 25 but birkin 30 i think one and done with birkin 30. but that being said i really like the color e tube and maybe i would get a birkin 30 in e tube i think that would be so pretty so maybe but yeah at the moment i, I don't have any other birkin 30s on my radar chanel mini so chanel mini 2.55 i think i'm one and done with this one uh the green one is stunning uh, but I don't necessarily think that I need to buy this in multiple colors. I have, to be honest, I have bought Chanel minis in multiple colors, but they, they're all different shapes. So I argue that's like a, buying three of the same bag in a way because they're all Chanel minis, but I think they're different enough that, yeah, I, I kind of doubled up, but not really. So yeah, I used to have multiple rectangle minis and I had uh, multiple Chanel classic flaps as well, but it was a style that I didn't reach for as much. I just think because I don't fit as much and I like to bring like a big sack of makeup and like other stuff, big keys and stuff and that sort of thing. So I find like the minis, it's not always my go-to style and I, obviously like I'm also more into Hermes lately so I think that's why I, I let go of a lot of my Chanel bags just because I find that the prices now are not that they don't they don't outweigh my lust for the brand anymore I think in the like Hermes is definitely not worth how much you pay for it as well but with Chanel it's I, I don't know it has a different feel to me now so yeah, that's why I don't think I would add any more Chanel minis in my collection at this point. But I have had doubles in the past and I can understand why you would collect them. They're very collectible pieces. And finally, guys, my Telfar bag I would totally get in another color because this is like a really cute style. I'm kind of bummed that I missed out on like the recent lavender color. They recently released like a purple color. I'm almost tempted to get that in a bigger size just so um, I noticed the real Shaquine got the bubblegum pink one and she uses it to carry her bigger Birkin in when she's traveling in when she's traveling. So I think a big Telfar bag could be really good for uh, transporting like, you know, uh, fancy bags on the airplane so you don't have to put them on the floor and yeah i wouldn't mind getting a bigger telfar bag in another color yeah hey guys i hope you enjoyed my video today uh please like and subscribe if you uh like my channel and i guess i'll talk to you on my next one bye